This alpaca may hold the key to a coronavirus vaccine. This is the InsideEdition.com coronavirus news for June 10th, 2020. Tyson is a 12-year-old alpaca that lives in Germany. And a team of researchers in Sweden say the preteen is playing a critical role in developing a vaccine for the coronavirus. Scientists immunized Tyson with coronavirus proteins and then harvested the antibodies he created. Those tiny antibodies, known as nanobodies, may be able to help humans block infection from the virus. Project manager Gerald McInerney explains. So these are the antibodies that we took from the alpaca's blood cells, and we can see that those antibodies are bound right on the surface, exactly at the point that the viral protein needs to get into cells. And so this gives us a structural understanding of how these antibodies work to stop the infection. But why alpacas? In addition to soft fleece, the gentle creatures are especially good at creating nanobodies, which are easier for scientists to work with. In principle, uh, it, there is all the evidence would suggest that it will work very well in humans, but it's a very complex system. Uh, so we look forward to, to getting to do those experiments. As for Tyson the alpaca, who might just end up saving the world. Well, Tyson is 12 years old, I believe, and so he may be looking at retirement soon. And uh, so he'll live out his natural life on his farm back in Germany. In China, scientists at a biotech firm called Sinovac say they are making significant progress on a vaccine. It is the um, COVID-19 vaccine we are developing, yeah. um, and this is, we call it pre fill syringe. Yeah. So when people use, it will be easy, they don't have to drag out. Uh, yeah. So it's a, a very um, advanced one. Researchers there claim the vaccine will be 99% effective against COVID-19. 99. 99. <laughs> 99. That's good news. Yeah. The company is also building a facility to manufacture the eventual vaccine at a larger scale. The potential vaccine is currently in stage two clinical trials with a thousand participants. It will need to clear that hurdle, plus stage three trials and regulatory approval as well. So even if it proves effective, it would be several months before it would be available to the public. And there are new findings in COVID-19 prevention, as Inside Edition's Jim Murray reports. A new study says wearing eye coverings like goggles, face shields and protective glasses can reduce your risk of COVID-19 threefold. Many viral particles that, in the, or, that are in the air enter through mucous membranes, like the nose and the mouth. But there's also a small percentage that can enter through the mucous membranes in the eyes. That's why by wearing certain protection, like goggles or a face shield, can reduce that risk. COVID cases in 20 states are rising. In Arizona, where stay-at-home orders were recently lifted, hospitals have been told to fully activate emergency plans. Texas, which recently relaxed social distancing restrictions, is also reporting a spike. Now Inside Edition Digital's Lee Sheps shares an update on actor Nick Cordero's battle with COVID-19. I want to share with you an update on how Broadway's Nick Cordero is doing. He remains in ICU at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. His wife, Amanda Klutz, shared on Instagram that he recently had a fever, but his temperature has since dropped. They'll probably be looking into doing another, hopefully, CT scan of his lungs to see what kind of um, progress or if there's further damage in his lungs. Today is also Nick and Amanda's son's birthday. Elvis is one. A birthday party for Elvis is planned. Amanda says she's going to FaceTime with Nick so that he can see his son on his birthday. Now let's see what Stephanie Officer is working on. Well, how do you handle addiction in quarantine? I spoke with actress and supermodel Jennifer Jimenez. She has strutted down runways, appeared in videos for Prince, Mick Jagger, and some of the biggest names in music. And I spoke with her husband, Tim Ryan, who is a recovery advocate for Rehab.com, as well as Jennifer. And they offer up some very good tips on how to stay sober, or at least on that path, while in quarantine. There are over 7.2 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 410,000 deaths worldwide. There are over 112,000 deaths in the United States. For more on the coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.